On April of 2016, the Iowa Medicaid program was officially privatized. This was done without any legislative input, without any subcommittee or committee hearings, and without any oversight. On April 1st, 2016, Governor Branstad privatized Iowa's Medicaid program with a simple executive order. Three years later, it is the privatization program that has proven itself to be unsustainable. Despite the addition of additional millions of funds provided to MCOs. Today is a sad day for the people of Iowa. We have done nothing to fix the Medicaid disaster. Nothing. We are letting some of Iowa's most vulnerable people slip through the system's fingers. The havoc that's been caused in, is this body's responsibility, and it's shameful. This amendment takes away the civil rights of Iowa's transgender population. This will make Iowa more unsafe. It will discourage people from coming out and living as their authentic selves. These are the people we go to church with. These are my friends and your friends. These are people who not by choice do not identify as the gender they were born into. Gender assigning surgery is life-saving. Transgender people are Iowans. Shame on you. The amendment before us today makes me so sad that I have a hard time figuring out what to say. We have been in session since January and during that time, we could have committed ourselves to fixing the Medicaid mess. We could have worked on a serious plan to help people who can't go to the doctor because of high deductible plans. And instead of expanding health care, you're taking it away from people. With this amendment, the majority party prioritizes hurting a small, vulnerable minority for political gain. And sadly, this amendment actually writes healthcare discrimination right into our state code. Voting for this bill is kicking people who are already down. Gender affirming surgeries are not simply cosmetic, they save lives. This bill did not fix the Medicaid mess. This bill plays politics with our kids and denies access to education and healthcare. We have 425,000 people who have been now flipped upside down and being forced to choose another provider for the second, third, fourth time. Why are we not doing anything? You have not only deprived essential services to a whole class of people, but you have denied transgender people civil rights protections. All because, in my opinion, of homophobic bigotry. Sexual reassignment surgery isn't special health care, it's regular health care that many transgender people need not only for their health, but for in many instances, their very lives. Republicans care more about ideologies than saving lives. Because the mass homophobia that seems to blanket the Republican Party health care will be denied to the transgender community. This legislation is offensive on its face, and it is based on harmful stereotypes and homophobic attitudes. You are consciously telling a whole group of people that they are second-class citizens, and you don't care. I want to reduce abortions. You don't do that by cutting sexual education funding. You don't. We know that. There's science behind it. There's logic behind it. One really good thing that we've had going has, in Iowa has been historic lows of teen pregnancy rates. And that is in large part because of Planned Parenthood providing sex education. If you have some religious reason why you think it's okay and you can justify denying health care to transgender Iowans, let me tell you there is no Jesus in this. I am opposed to any legislation that plays politics with our children. 
and denies children access to quality education programs and health care. Planned Parenthood provides both. Planned Parenthood is the gold standard when it comes to high quality education programming, not just in Iowa, but in the entire country. Matthew 25, one of my favorites. What you do unto the least of me, you do unto me. That's Jesus. That's 